Hello, tankers! We hope that your week was as productive and intense as ours. Do not hesitate to press the thumbs up button for this new episode right now. So, are you ready? Let's start! Today, at exactly 5 p.m. UTC, the 24-hour race between 12 of our YouTubers will start. Miss Chaos, Mr. Vineka123, Wader, Immortal Hero DOW, Killjet, Kalyamba, Big Tanks, Kisunya, Pixel, and of course, our English-speaking YouTubers Jumper, Taspens, and Potent. The winner, as you know, will be the YouTuber who earns the most experience points by 5 p.m. UTC Saturday evening, and they will take home 10,000 tank coins. We wish our participants a friendly atmosphere, even in the most intense battles. You can follow their fight for first place on the special website, where information will be updated every 30 minutes. You can also watch the action in real time, as our YouTubers will be streaming their progress on their channels. Don't forget to show your support to your favorite YouTubers. Time to set a timer. After the release of the vlog, there will be about 4 hours left until the start of the event. Grab some snacks, subscribe to your favorite YouTubers' channels, and keep an eye out for notifications. As a wise man once said, this battle will be legendary! Our development team has been teaching tanky bots, testing their behavior in battles, and assessing their understanding of game mechanics for quite some time now. We have already improved their shooting skills. They scan the map multiple times per minute and know how to evaluate the movement points of their teammates and enemies. They can find you anywhere on the map. As soon as you enter their radius of destruction, they will start attacking you. It all started with making them masters of any turret. However, we haven't managed to teach them how to use alternative shooting modes yet, such as shaft sniper mode and striker's rocket salvo. Remember this fact and use it against them. The next step was showing them how to move on a battlefield. It is just a primitive logic of plotting a path from point A to point B. They start moving once they see another tank. Bots can also maneuver in a short radius while shooting and jump from small heights to avoid creating heavy traffic congestion. For example, they can do so on the sandbox map. A bot determines the height and jumps to get a better position. Together with the announced ability to maneuver, it makes bots move when there are players and other bots in the battle. There's one more important rule that bots follow. Movement equals life. Some of our testers even say that bots are comparable to real passive players now. Right now, we're about to finish another stage of this training, teaching bots how to interact with flags, balls, and important map positions. Before this, bots just ignored flags, because they didn't know what a flag was, and they only cared about shooting. Now, if you give a flag to bots, it'll be their top priority to deliver it to the right base. Bots are so smart that they can even troll you. They are not professional rugby players, but you can pass a ball to them for sure. Bots even know what to do in the control points mode. They can come to points and try to capture them. Just imagine how much work has been done. We have plans to add bots to real battles with low-ranked players. They will help newcomers learn the basics of the game. Once a player masters their skills, PvP battles with only real players will become available. After adding bots, we will keep track of some important numbers and your feedback and we will make needed changes before we proceed to the next stage. We are continuously working on improving the game. After reading your comments, we are glad to see such a large amount of feedback. And we are ready to introduce a new change. Every player who has not entered the game for a year or more will receive bonuses for coming back for free. What? Yes. We've decided to offer a bonus to returning players. There will be around 5 items in this bonus. First, premium account for 30 days. Second, fully upgraded Brutus drone. Third, 300 units of each supply. Fourth, tank coin pass for 10 days. And fifth, battle pass for the whole duration of the current challenge. 
this offer will soon become available in the HTML5 version of the game and will not last long. The largest amount of rewards will be available at the moment of publishing the announcement. Now you have the chance to share the news among your good old friends. And once they get Brutus, you won't need to explain to them which drone to equip for using supplies. We will share more information about the bonuses very soon, but we suggest you keep an eye on our homepage for the latest news. Best Drones, Best Developers and Best Parkourists the YouTuber Digest is here. Not sure what drone to use? Watch Taspens as he ranks the 5 best drones in Tanky Online. But now it's time to give you guys an updated list on the top 5 best drones in the game now that they have removed 10 full drones. The Trickster Drone. Now as a lot of you guys know, speed is my favorite part about this game. I love using Crisis, I love using Trickster just because getting that increased speed is just super fun. Now although you don't get an increased double armor, you don't get an increased double damage, the speed that you get can work perfectly if you have the skill to use it. In his video, the Detective 9992 covers a special encounter a player had with our beloved developer, Hazel, who used one of the new exclusive Phoenix Augments. Hey guys, in this video I will be analyzing footage of a Sida Phoenix, the augment you can get from the trophy missions. Here, if you look really closely, you can see that after attacking this Viking, the Sida gains a bit of health. This means that the Sida Phoenix also has the Vampire Augment. Now for the craziest part of the augment, the range. The range here is crazy. What is that to range? If we look at this footage carefully, we can see that the Sida Phoenix does have a max range right about here. Have you already submitted your entry to the Masters of Parkour contests? Many YouTubers have also taken part. Watch Jumper's entry to find out which is better, yours or his. Last time, you had to guess which wasp would get destroyed first after receiving a single burning shot. The correct answer is D. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all for this week. We'll see you next on May 19th, since our vlog team will be on holiday on the 12th. Spend your holidays in a good mood and to the best of your abilities. Stay cheerful and confident. See ya.